Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting on board a nice Christmassy boat as you can probably see in the background there um, and what we're going to have a quick look at today is how to collimate a telescope with a laser collimator so let's dive straight in so first things first, this is our laser collimation tool now I'll say straight away, please use extreme caution with this as you are going to be shining a laser down on mirrors and you've got to be very certain of where the laser is reflecting into before you start looking down a telescope and well have the potential of it shining back up in your eye um, so the tool itself is very simple just a cylinder and you can see there we've got a target which basically the laser comes from down the middle this sits in the eyepiece reflects down onto the primary mirror back up hopefully once it's focused up through the uh, up off the secondary mirror back into this and then you'll see later that we use this to align the telescope mirrors perfectly or at least that's what we aim to do so we'll dive in and have a look at the telescope and then get to work the telescope that we're using today is a skywatcher heritage 130p dobsonian telescope try saying that after you've had a few drinks especially if it's mountain dew you've been drinking <laughs> anyway moving swiftly on uh, as you can see, it is a collapsible telescope, but the basic principle of a Newtonian reflector telescope is at work here. So it's pretty much going to be a similar process for all of this sort of telescopes if you're collimating them. Uh, we'll have a look on the front here first. So we've got the secondary mirror there, which is the first one that we need to align. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this properly, but as you can see there, there's a large screw in the centre which we shall loosen slightly which means then using an allen key I can angle the secondary mirror which will hopefully shine and that's not the laser, that is just the Christmas lights that you are seeing in the bottom there um, basically we want to angle this so that the laser is pointed into that circle right in the centre of the mirror so once that's aligned, it's a simple case to come back down to the back of the telescope we have got uh, three sets of screws here. These ones you use once again to tighten or loosen the primary mirror at the back's position. And then these ones here you use to alter the position slightly. So we're going to then want to uh, focus or move this around so it shines the laser back onto that mirror there and up. And you'll see how the target works on the collimator itself. So that's the basic theory, so let's actually do it. A good view from the camera down to the end of the telescope here, but you don't want to be looking down the telescope as you're putting the collimator in. Now, the reason for that is you don't know when you switch this on where the laser is going to bounce out to. Sometimes the telescope might be in very good alignment and it'll already be hitting that mirror there and then shining back up. Other times it won't be and it'll shine out of the end of the telescope and so what I do is wave my hand across the front of it and then if I see the laser pointing out then I know not to obviously look straight down it and what I'm lucky with having a collapsible telescope is I can look in at an angle because obviously this would be covered up and I'd have to look far more from the front to see it in any case usually but if we pop this in now it's important to obviously have this um, in place tightly in the eyepiece and also you definitely want the target pointing to the back of the telescope. Now it's just a case of turning this on. Let's have a look. Can the camera see that? Now I can see that the laser is pointing just slightly out, just slightly off to the side of the camera. And ah, uh, yes, you can see that nicely there. And obviously now you can see that it's very slightly out of alignment there. So what I'm going to do, as described, is take this rather handy tool, thank you very much Jono for the supplying of this, um, and like I say, it's a simple case, very slightly unscrew that, just enough, so that I can then use these screws here, and you'll notice as well that as you're fiddling with this, it also moves the alignment of that, so once again, that's why you don't want to be looking down the telescope, um, and so then, it's just a case of using a small allen key on this, but it will more than likely vary on telescope to telescope but be a very similar principle of having three things to move to align the mirrors and something to screw to tighten it all up and if we have a look now which way are we going to want to do this I wonder now you can see that just by turning these very slightly 
the alignment is altering an awful lot. That's starting to get in place. Just need to raise it up very slightly. Now that's almost perfect there now. Just needs to come very slightly across. And I would say bingo. Now once again we shall see now when I tighten this. Is this going to start moving it out of line? Not really. Right, that's been a great success. My apologies for the unusual camera angle and the lighting here. I've got a torch and the light on in the back end of the boat, but nothing at the front end, which just about lets the camera see, obviously, up the telescope to our collimator here, and you can just about see, hopefully, the red dot of the laser, which luckily is already visible on the target there. Sometimes the laser will be pointing wildly out of the telescope, like I say, and this obviously is a lucky break because it makes it much easier to focus if it's already in the target. I'll just give you a close-up view of that, hopefully. And basically, what we need to do now is use the screws that are on the back of the telescope. And first of all, I shall loosen these ones. They're already pretty loose, actually, a little bit too loose. And now it's just a case of using the larger um, screws to very slightly, very gradually, that's not the way we want to go, very gradually fetch the laser into focus. Once again, I think I'll just give you a quick clip of that in action. And as you can see, that should, hopefully, if you just keep unscrewing, just if you start to feel them tighten up, and we're almost there. That, I would say, is now perfect. Just a very, very slight movement up, and that's it. Absolutely spot on that. So, as you can see, the laser has pretty much disappeared because it's now going straight down to the secondary mirror, straight onto the primary, back up in a perfect straight line, and up right into the centre of the collimator that it originated from. And that is exactly what you want to see. Right then, I think it's time to get outside of this telescope and see if that collimation has made any difference. I'll do another video soon talking about what I've noticed and how quickly it goes back out of line and that sort of thing. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos for a load more astronomy and an awful lot of videos about living on board a boat. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like the Facebook page, uh, check out my book called The Narrowboat Lad on the Kindle, all about my first year living on board Tilly here, and really, have a fantastic day. Until the next time, farewell.